Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to our Wednesday 15 minutes podcast without data. If you are watching me on WhatsApp, that is, you can store this in your WhatsApp and watch it for as many times as you want to watch it once you have downloaded it with the first 30 megabytes. So God bless you. Welcome to the second phase, the second series of our podcast on more victory over sin. Now, on Wednesday, we left off from Romans 6, 1, where we are trying to explain that statement of Paul, where Paul said, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Now, it is said, shall we continue to sin? He says, shall we continue in sin? Now, to continue to sin automatically renders the word sin as a verb. As good as saying sinning, writing, reading. Those are verbs. Reading a book. Book is a noun. Reading is a verb. Writing is a verb. Bicycle is a noun. So Paul said, Shall we continue in sin? That is, the, that is sin as a noun. But what many people thought that Paul said is this. Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? Like I said, I don't believe that we should continue to sin that sin may abound. To, to say we should continue to sin that grace may abound is as good as saying from 1 Peter 2 24 that says by whose stripes you are here if by stripe I was here then shall I continue to be sick so that by a stripe I will be healed of course you don't enjoy being sick so that you can be healed by stripes so why should you enjoy continuing to sin so that the grace may abound no it doesn't make any sense Praise the Lord. So let's get that straight. Like I said, many translations gave us that picture. Like, uh, if you look at New Living Translation, it said, What then? Should we keep on sinning? You see, sinning, that is verb. Keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of His wonderful grace. Sinning, sinning. That's New Living Translation, that's Romans 6 1. Sinning, sinning is a verb. You see, meaning that they believe that the word sin in that Romans uh, 6 1 is a, is a noun. So that's why you see they say, well then, should we continue in sinning so that God can show us more and more, uh, uh, what's it called, more and more grace? Like I said, no. Look at Romans 6 in a new, uh, a new international version. He said, what shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? Sinning as a verb. No, that is wrong. That's, that's not what we're saying. But that is not the message. Because you see, if you don't get this message, then you will not understand what Christ did. So what Paul is saying is, it, what shall we say there? Shall we continue in sin, sin as a verb? Now, when he used the language, continue in sin, now that is talking about the Adamic nature. This is talking about a nature. This is talking about sin nature, which is, which is a noun. So what he's saying is this. What he's saying is this. Shall we continue in the sin nature that we obtained from Adam? That grace may abound. Now, that word abound means put upon. The Greek word of it means put upon. That is, are we going to keep carrying the Adamic nature around so that God can put grace upon it? Now you see, if we say, we still have the Adamic nature, we are carrying it around and God put grace on it, then it means that we are operating under two natures. 
It means that you understand you are, you are working on the you, you are carrying Adamic nature and you are carrying God's nature, which is grace. So that's not what Paul, so that's not what Paul is saying. What we will be reading in the subsequent verses actually proved that Christ killed that Adamic nature and gave us a new nature, which is grace. Now it's good that we understand that. Because you must know at the point where your Adamic nature died. It died with Christ. Christ actually came to kill it. Christ came to kill it. And that's what, that's why I, I took time to explain this so that when we're going to be reading the, that verse, those verses down to verse 14 in Romans 6, you understand what I'm saying. So, so, so have this picture that you used to have Adamic nature, but now you have a new identity, which is God's nature. The Adamic nature is dead. You must understand at the point that it died. You must understand it and then begin to enjoy the freedom on it. On, on it. Hallelujah. Now here, now, now, if you understand that, the devil will not help you to understand the subsequent verses. Hear what they say. He said, God forbid. God forbid. When God forbidded it, what did God do? Because there's nothing Adam could do about the nature he has. No. The Bible says sin, sin reigned. Sin reigned. Sin reigned. Because the Adamic nature cannot be overturned by man. So here is what Christ did about it. He said, God forbid. He said, how shall we? Shall we? that are dead to sin. Talking about sin nature. Sin nature. Not, not that are dead to sinning. No, 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 no. no. You are not dead to sinning. Because we see it in First John. He said, my little children, I, I write unto you that you sin not. But if any man sin, you see, if any man sin. So it's not talking about sinning as a verb. It's talking about sin as a noun. Now, which is Adamic nature. How shall we that are dead to Adamic nature live any longer therein? Look at that word therein. 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 That is therein. In. In the Adamic nature. In the Adamic nature. So meaning that I don't have Adamic nature again. That's what Paul is proving here. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized unto Christ were baptized unto his death. Did you see that? Baptized unto his death. Baptized unto death. Now he's not talking about the me that is preaching to you now. He's talking about the me that existed before 1st of May 1992 when I gave my life to Jesus. Did you get it now? So this is a new identity. This is a new nature. He said Know you not that so many of us as were baptized unto Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. So his death, his death has done something for me. Therefore, we are buried with him. You see, the dead, the burial. The dead, the burial. The death of Christ killed my old nature. My old nature was buried with Christ. So it's about what Christ has done. It's not about what I have done. Buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Newness of life. New life. New, new identity. Did you see now? For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, look at that one, in the likeness, the death of Christ. In the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. So the three things. We have spoken about the three things here. The dead, the burial, and the resurrection. So it's about what the dead, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ has offered us. One of the things that he offered us is the death of the old man. The Adamic nature. So the Adamic nature is dead. It's dead. It's different from sinning as a verb. So meaning that the fact that the new nature 
sin does not make it a sin. It does not make it a sinner, sorry. It does not make it a sinner. It is a new nature. And that's what the Bible says in the book of First John. In the book of First John. Let me quickly show you that. In the book of First John chapter 3. He said, he that committed sin is of the devil. He that committed sin is of the devil. Now, talking about he that committed sin is of the devil. Talking about the Adamic nature. For the devil sinned from the, from the beginning. That's talking about the Adamic nature. Not the new identity I have in Christ. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. That is, destroy the Adamic nature. The old man. Whosoever is born of God, whosoever is born of God, doth not commit sin. Now that is talking about whosoever is born. That is talking about DNA. DNA. That is referring to the new nature. The new identity. It's talking about the DNA. Let me tell you, the DNA that I share with the devil is the point at which I commit sins. But the DNA at which I share with God is the one that can never sin. And I hear, what, I hear the way it puts it. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him. What do you call that? The DNA. The DNA. And he cannot sin. He cannot sin. Because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest. In this the children of God are manifest. And the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. That is, is not the new nature. Neither he that loveth not his brother. I will, con I, I will speak on that in the subsequent edition. In the sub subsequent episode. But what I'm bringing out is this. Is that the old nature is dead. The old nature has the DNA of Adam. The new nature is what John is referring to here that does not sin and cannot commit sin. Because he is born because is born of God in the, you, see, you see, you see, your son has your DNA because he's born. The reason why the new man cannot sin is because he carries God's DNA. He carries God's good DNA. He carries God's DNA. So the new identity, the new me, I carry God's DNA. I don't carry the DNA of the devil. The DNA of the devil died with Christ, was buried with Christ, and was and the new man resurrected. When Christ resurrected, it I resurrected, I resurrected with him in the new with the new identity. But do, do I still commit sin? Yes. Does that make me sinner? No. Because committing sin is a verb. Sinner is a noun. Hallelujah. Don't worry, I'm not given license to sin. I'm given license to live. <laughs> Are you hearing me now? So you see, I identify with God with my, that is my new identity. My new identity in Christ has the DNA of Christ. It has the DNA of Christ. So the new Identity I have in Christ, identify with Christ. The old man is crucified with the devil. Mm. Okay, know you know that so many of us, as were baptized unto Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism of death. You see, death, burial, that like as, the, as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even was raised up, even so we also should walk in newness of life. That is the new, our new identity. For if we are been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. The DC is about the old man. That the body of sin, the body, body of sin, body of sin, that is Adamic nature body of sin might be destroyed like I, sh I show you in first john might be destroyed that's why christ came that he may destroy the works of the devil the adamic nature and henceforth we should not serve sin for he that is dead is freed from sin hallelujah so right now i'm out of time so in our friday podcast i will continue from that romans 6 7 freed from sin 
It is one thing to be freed. It's another thing to know you are, you are freed. Which is what I'm explaining. So in our, in our Friday podcast, we will continue from that place. So I'm out of time right now. From me here, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord. I will see you on our Friday podcast. God bless you. See you on our Friday podcast.